G'day! Welcome to the Nerdy Dad channel and the Nerdy Dad review of Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, directed by Sam Raimi. I'm going to start with a few non-spoiler thoughts. I had a great time with it. It's a part horror, part action adventure movie. And there were some elements that genuinely surprised me and it was so much fun. Look, quick thumbs up or thumbs down, it's definitely a thumbs up. Look, for anyone that was slower than me to see the movie, this is the point where you might want to leave us until after you've seen it. Spoilers ahead, you've been warned. I'm going to start with calling out the parts of the movie that were great. Zombie Doctor Strange. Hell yes. Scarlet Witch in the Mirror Dimension. Ooh, gives me chills. Patrick Stewart as Charles Xavier in the yellow floating... Look, can you even call it a wheelchair when it doesn't have wheels? With that X-Men animated theme song playing underneath it. Fan service? Yes. But absolutely great fan service. I loved it. That and John Krasinski being cast as Mr. Fantastic. Mwah. So good. It just worked for me. I didn't expect Wanda to be revealed as the villain so early on. I figured she was going to turn or crack at some point in the movie. But for her to be the villain from the outset was a fascinating way to go. And it no doubt streamlined the movie from what I thought the script was going to be. Look, this movie's been out for a little while, so like everyone else, I've seen some criticism of the movie, some of which I agree with when I stop and think about it. But overall, I just enjoyed myself. Except, look, there's just one scene of the movie that threw me a bit. That pizza popper scene. I'm sorry, but that was just jarring. Everyone knew there was going to be a Bruce Campbell cameo. But surely there was a way to use him that didn't feel so out of place and, well, just plain awkward. Look, at the end of the movie, I had a few questions like, is Wanda actually dead? She destroyed Wanda Gore and the Darkhold, possibly every Darkhold. But we all know as a good rule of thumb, if we didn't see them die on screen, and if we didn't see a body, they probably aren't dead. And that goes double for a Disney property. Triple for the MCU. Also, what damage did the Dark hold, even using it for such a short period of time, do to Stephen? His third eye is a visual representation that he's tainted. So we know the Dark hold did something to him, but what did it do? And what are the consequences of that going to be? The great MCU juggernaut rolls on with Thor in July. I don't think this movie will have any direct impact on Thor, but there are a number of consequences that the multiverse of madness could have for the movie universe at some point in the future. The main one I keep hearing get, getting thrown around is the incursions and their relationship to Secret Wars. I've enjoyed Loki, What If, and now Multiverse of Madness. So I am just hanging on waiting to see where the future of the multiverse in Marvel can go. Look, in summary, this was another fantastic outing from Marvel. I had so much fun. This is the Nerdy Dad, signing out. <laughs>